guys welcome to my channel today i tell you about forensic online courses is typical job responsibilities what do forensic scientists do a forensic scientist would typically need to work in laboratories to identify and interpret physical evidence retrieved by crime scene investigators at the scene of the crime provide scientific evidence to support the prosecution of defense in criminal and civil investigation attend and examine signs of crimes when the methods or techniques surrounding the collection or preservation of the physical evidence are in question perform chemical biological and microscopic analysis including infrared spectroscopy dna profiling and genetic fingerprinting on evidence taken from crime scenes ensure adherence to all lab protocols and regulations perform blood grouping analysis fluids and tissue samples for traces of drugs and poisons examine splash patterns and the distribution of particles analysis handwriting signatures ink and paper verify the authenticity of documents recover data from laptops computers mobile phones and other electronic equipment analyze and interpret results and computer data explore possible links between suspects and criminal activity prepare written reports that detail finding and investigative methods explain them to lawyers detectives and other law enforcement officials testify in court about the methods used and the results coordinate with other members of the forensic team and outside agencies serve as a license between the forensic laboratory and crime scene investigation overseas maintenance and calibration of laboratory equipment develop maintain and update for quality standards standard operating procedure and new forensic technique standard work environment Although most of the work is partly based experience, forensic scientists may have to attend crime scenes. The balance of the work in the laboratory, court, and office varies between roles. Although there is not a generally must travel involved, you may need to travel to attend conferences and training courses. If attending a crime scene, you will need to wear protective clothing to prevent contamination of the scene and sometimes to protect yourself from hazardous material. Work schedule. Forensic scientists typically work regular office hours, but they may have to do shifts or be on the call outside of the regular businesses hours if needed to work immediately on a quest. Employers check the website of relevant professional bodies, police forces, key employers, and industry publications for job listening. Speculative applications are advisable. Strong links may exist between some university departments and employers check with your university of professional contacts. Commercial companies provide forensic science services to the police and other agencies. Police forces usually have in-house forensic science units. Forensic scientists are generally employed by commercial companies, government forensic device services, government defense wings, government science technology departments, police forces, Department of Justice, medical schools, university research departments, public health laboratories, specialist private consultations, Union professional organization, professional association or organization are popular for forensic scientists interested in pursuing professional development or connecting with like-minded professionals in their industry or occupation. Membership in a one or more adds value to your resume while bolstering your credential and qualification. Workplace challenges, stressful and distressing, particularly when attending unpleasant scenes of the crime, the need to attend crime scenes in all kinds of weather, the need to feel comfortable presenting and defending evidence in court under cross-examination, painstaking and time-consuming work requiring patience. Free course based on the skills of a forensic scientist. Suggestion for experience. Value and experience can be difficult to acquire as forensic laboratories do not offer placements. Experience gained using similar scientific and analytical techniques can more in handy. Students will typically need experience working in a laboratory, in hospitals or research centers. Work placement essentially arise in biological research and development. It will help if you can land an 
apprenticeship with a company that provides forensic science services. It may be worth sending targeted, speculative application to inquire about work experience or work shorting opportunities with relevant organizations such as police force. They may have its own in-house report difficulties. Recommendation about Qualification Prospective forensic scientists usually need a degree in forensic science, biological science, or chemistry. It may have to choose a university qualifications. Accredited by the Chartered Society of Forensic Science, check the exact requirements of financial employers as not all science based subjects guarantee entry into the profession. Subjects such as statics and geology can help ease entry into especially areas of forensic science such as ethology, anthropology, toxicology, pathology, or DNA. Where a degree program in forensic science is not available, take courses in criminology, criminal justice, ethics, crime scene analysis, and criminal law. They will help you get a more in depth insight into the criminal justice system and its process. The intense competition for jobs makes it imperative to have an MSA or PhD in forensic science or a master in a forensic specialty. Forensic scientists who work for police departments are shown police officers and have fulfilled the educational requirement necessary for admittance into a police academy. Certification, license and registration, certification from an object and repeated organization can help you gain professional credibility, build your expertise in a specific area and stay up to date on technology. Certification is commonplace given the many specialists that exist within forensic science. You can earn a certification in criminalist, forensic te- toxicology, forensic documents, examination, and medical death investigation. To name a few, successful certification programs protect public welfare by incorporating a code of ethics, adherence to code that helps forensic scientists on trust and respect the most critical element in securing their future. For more videos, please like and subscribe my channel. Thank you, friends, and thanks for watching.